You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are we catching fish this weekend or what? Dude? We better. I think if we do or if we don't, we're gonna have a good time either way, huh? Heck yeah, we are, man. Let's do it. Let's keep going. All right, we are now officially on the road. We got everything all packed up and buttoned up and ready to go. We made our quick trip stop, got the coolers iced down, and now we are set on cruise on the way up to the North Woods. So, ready for some musky fishing. I know we're both extremely excited. It's been an exactly a year since we've been up here doing this. It's been a year since we've seen David. And uh, I know we're just really excited to be up there again and do some fishing and some camping, so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, we have made it and we're at our campsite and this is gonna be home for the next few days. We're uh, gonna get our tent set up, get a campfire going, kinda get all situated and uh, again, we're gonna make dinner and get ready for tomorrow. So we're finally getting camp set up here. We got tent here set up. This is one of these cool mattress pads that you just open it up and it inflates by itself. It's about two inches thick, sleeps great, awesome for tent camping and whatnot. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour what we got here and say hi to Matt. So here's our campsite. We're gonna be, uh, we got a little bit of a drop off on our campsite, so we're gonna be camping up top here. So here's our tent set up. Come on down here, we got a fire pit. We got a cool little bench here. We got Mashiki, the fire master, taking it over. Yeah, sir. We got plenty of wood for a day or two. Uh, food cooler, air cooler, radio. We're gonna get this puppy roaring, and we'll uh, start making some dinner. Put some dogs on the fire, huh? All right, so for dinner tonight, we are having a little uh, Wisconsin twist on Chicago dogs. What we got here is just uh, normal Cheddarfield Johnsonville. You can have your bun. First thing you go to, awesome cheap Walmart cheese. You gotta have the cheap cheese. It's all about this kind of cheese right here. Lay that in your bun. So after you get your cheese in there, you're gonna slap your dog in. And the process of this is important. Ketchup's way over there still. So first you're gonna do your mustard and ketchup first. Mustard on one side. Then you're gonna hit some ketchup here on the other side of the dog. Oh, that is a hot dog. And then you're gonna add your condiments here. So we, we got, got so we got some great value sweet relish. Alright. Which we're gonna go with first. And you just slap that right on there. Very huh? generous. Very generous. Yeah, that is very Wisconsin of you. And then we got some uh pickled jalapenos here and a little bit of spice yep yep and you know what once again we're gonna be very generous just get a bunch Ooh. just get a bunch of them yeah. on there and then the best part you gotta get some you gotta get some onion let's have some onion on there that i know is a it's an absolute dog. complete mouthful but this is the Wisconsin twist here on a Chicago dog. That is a doggy dog. <laughs> Get you some of that. Oh, good.
<laughs> it's recording, bro. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if what you're doing. All right, we have finished eating dinner now. We got the fire really roasting. We're gonna hang out, have a few beers. We're gonna be up about six o'clock tomorrow morning, make about a 45 minute drive to where we're gonna be mating David. And then when we get there, you guys will be meeting David and we'll be hitting the water and we will be smashing. Well, hopefully we'll be smashing a muskie or two tomorrow. We got two days to fish. Hopefully we can get onto them. Like I said, we're gonna hang out, have some beers, listen to some music, bullshit for the rest of the night. And uh, we're gonna get to fishing in the morning. All right guys, it is Friday morning and the sunrise is absolutely beautiful uh, as you guys saw there, but we had a great night's sleep. Uh, we might have had a few too many beers last night, but we got up, got to the gas station, iced coolers down, got our coffee, got our food, and uh, we are on the way. We'll be there in about 20 minutes. We are meeting David at a boat launch here, and uh, we're gonna kick things off there, and hopefully we just have a great day of muskie fishing, whether we uh, catch anything or not. Hopefully we'll see something at least, and uh, I don't know, I'm feeling good about about today, so. Feeling good about today? I don't know, I don't, I don't know why. This feels good, this feels good to be out here. Let's go. Let's go with this. No, like, the ones we moved yesterday, like we had two that came in, like, reeling as fast as you could. Really? On a bait, and they're like this far behind it, and they just wouldn't open up. So like they're they're, they're right close. there, huh? They're right there. They're really specific on time, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, they're, yeah. That's why I wanted to get out here early, like yeah. with the cold front. Typically, you want to get out before it like really sets in. Okay. Hey guys, David Holmes here. Uh, we got TDT Outdoors out today um, for the next couple days actually. We're out on the Upper St. Croix. Uh, we're mid to late September. We got some good cold front conditions uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so I wanted to take one quick second to uh, just talk about David's guiding business a little bit. So here's his website. Um, it is at davidholmesguiding.com. And uh, if you look here at his homepage, kind of has a lot on here. It shows you quite a bit. Um, got a bunch of reviews on here. His socials are linked down below. Uh, but the important things like uh, booking a trip, you can do right on his website here. Shoot him a message. Uh, if you want to look here at the pictures, here are some of the trophy fish uh, that him, himself, and his clients have caught. Uh, so, yeah, some awesome smallmouths here. Went onto the musky gallery and you're gonna see just a pile of awesome fish. So uh, if you guys are looking for a guide in the um, Midwest, uh, specifically um, Upper Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, make sure to check out David. Uh, he's an awesome guy, awesome to fish with. He knows a lot and uh, it's definitely gonna be worth your money. So make sure to check out his website, check out his socials, and uh, yeah, back to the video. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Good show, or man. Yeah. That's just that kind of out end of the outside bend too. This area under these trees. A big test for you, Tom. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Walter's one. <laughs> Hope you guys are cool with me giving you a lot of shit today. <laughs> Keep that bait pretty high in the water. There's some logs in there. in a casting clinic out here. Can't catch a damn fish for my life, but man, can I cast. Sometimes. Half the time. Yeah. It works 100% of the time, 50% of the time. Yeah. Well, Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. We'll take Ooh. that for a starter. Sitting just right at the top of the Well, I tried to burn it over them rocks because I felt the rocks hitting it. You literally did just say, I'm feeling a bunch of rocks. I'm going to reel it in quick. <laughs> Let's go. Sitting just so bad. That was very shallow. Right as she started to rain. We might have a bite window going here. Your first musky, man. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> we got one, boys. We got that one. Oh, shit. Let's get a bigger one next one. That's a pretty fish, though. Oh, my God. My knees are shaking. Head first? Yep. You're trying not to fall in here. Splash some water over it. We'll throw some water at it. There she goes. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. All right, number one. Let's go, man. <laughs> Ski. Oh, my God. It's like a whole different world when you take your glasses off. Yeah. I'm like. Those, uh, you know those packages like ends and pieces? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get like these giant pieces of just meat. You gotta find the right package though. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just giant pieces of fat. <laughs> We've covered a lot of water. Mm -hmm. We're way down here. Tell me about your ski ski. Um, I was running my, uh, what do you call that thing? Swim bait? A oh, swim bait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running a swim bait through some rocks and I thought I was going to get hung up so I just kind of reeled it in real fast. And just as I was reeling it in like that, it must have came out of nowhere. Came unglued on it. Yeah, it came out of the water. Yeah, and then it was game on from there. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Backflips and all. Yeah. Matt, did you not do your figure eight? No, I did. Yeah, he did. Maybe 
maybe not. If it was one, it was super lazy. Like if it yeah. wanted, you would know it. Like it, it wasn't moving too fast. No. As soon as this long grass starts, like the grass that's hanging into the water there, okay. get it right on the bank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right through the eye. Did I hook it? <laughs> oh, you That's a nice bite. <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice pike, baby. Oh, heck yeah, man. That's a sick pike. <laughs> yep. Just as I said I wanted to change, I didn't want to use that bait anymore too. <laughs> so we are now done fishing for day one. Overall it was a really good day. Brought three fish into the boat and we had many more follows and moved a lot more fish. We did a lot of, a lot of hole hopping, you think, huh? How about your first muskie? I caught my first muskie today. Awesome experience. Caught two more pike on top of that. On the, uh, what did you call that thing? A sigum? I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called either. But yeah, a really good first day. Now we're about to go back and grill some steaks and, and have a campfire. It's gonna be a good one. That's all I got. David, how are we feeling about today? I think we're feeling pretty good. Kind of our main cold front passed. Um, we're kind of getting into that kind of re-warm up phase. A um, couple more fronts coming through today, but just a little bit of rain here and there and new moons tomorrow. So everything's lining up. 
I just woke up, so I feel good. Hopefully we're gonna find him this morning. And go from there. Sideways. Not that far. Actually, let me just see that thing. I'm gonna pull that weight off of it. Oh, I got one. There you go. Oh, big one. Real. Yep. Yeah, we'll keep her out of there. Next one, swing your head around. Yeah! Look! Woohoo! Let's fucking go! Dude, oh my god! That's a sick fish. Woohoo! Now we're having fun. I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pee. Let's go! That's a really nice oh fish, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, she's juicy. I love that. I'm gonna go. 40. 40. Stretcher. <laughs> 40. That's a 40. That's a 40. Okay. You get my phone, Tom? I got Beautiful. a few pictures on it. Okay. All right, man. Let's get her off this side. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> Drop her head in the line first and hold on to her tail. Just get her in the water. Oh. <laughs> Wash some water on her. Yeah, she's good. Dude. <laughs> now you just having fun yet? <laughs> now you just the awesome. release, Matt. Huh? Now you just got to master the release. Yeah, yeah, I know that release was pretty poor. Yeah, so I I put her head in the water and lean way over, or you can if they're not feisty, like let like put their head in the water, let go of them, but just keep your hand down their body, and right when you get to the tail, just grab it. They're slimy. Slime can be. Slimy. She's, slimy. Go. <laughs> She's still sitting down. There. She's happy. You and your suix, man. Let's do it. Just a deadly dude with this. That's suit. awesome. Want me to work this right side a little bit? Yeah. Slower, slower, longer pauses. Longer pauses. Leave it. Leave it. Now go way down. Another one way down. And leave it there. Now do another full eight. So that depth is what the bait should be at throughout most of the figure eight. Especially if you get a lazy follow like that. That was a big fish too. That was a really big fish. Yeah. Just saw its tail end. 
just hasn't like turned off. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I got one following. Yep. Keep going faster into the corner. Up. Faster. Hanging in that corner right there. You fuck. She's still there. Keep going. She's still right. I thought she was going to go in that corner like a half a second sooner and that she would have had one. Well, starting at our second spot for today. Had a good run at our first spot. Caught one fish. I had several follows and uh, stopped off at the country store for some lunch. We're gonna see what we can do now. Got a full belly. Beautiful weather out today. Let's do it. Like, what do you even do at that point? You did everything right. Hit her harder. That's all you can do. Remember when I was saying how hard it is to land those fish if they do more than a couple head shakes in the figure eight? <sighs> that was a boil. You just had, yep, there he is, real fast. Faster, turn it. Set. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boom. Oh. swim off like that after that happens is one of the most painful things. Oh my god, dude. 
I don't even want to cast for like two seconds. No, I want to cast again. Okay, we're good. I mean, she just Unreal. she wanted every piece of that sucker. She ate in the straightaway on that one. That's oh, the thing. Know. I was also not expecting it to eat at that moment right there. That's a tough spot for it to eat because you always want to set like back across their head, and that's nearly impossible to do at that angle. That's why that downstream corner is so nice, or an upstream corner. Yeah. You go like that. You go like that. Second day of musky fishing was absolutely unreal. Matt caught uh, a 40 inch, which was super, super, super cool. And then I ended up having two uh, both side eats that one of the musky completely missed it. The second one, uh, the hook just came out, but it was an absolutely great, great day of musky fishing. And I cannot wait to uh, hang out one more night, drink a bunch of beers and uh, get some pork chops on the grill. We got pork chops, sweet potatoes and zucchini tonight. Gonna be a great meal. Um, but just, yeah, just saying, great day of fishing.